Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I won't be looking at the camera because I'm actually looking at another phone just so I can talk to you today about um, Glow or Grow Lab Organics. So this has been um, sort of heavily advertised recently in different groups. They're currently um, looking to uh, get an investment of five million pounds um, over the next 12 days and they're currently 82% of that target which um, is four million one hundred and twenty four thousand five hundred pounds and that's from 602 investors so I'm not actually on their website they do have a website I'm on the Cedars website which is where you can buy the shares um, I just wanted to sort of break it down as best as I can to make it um, sort of more understandable to be fair um, it's it's relatively straightforward it I mean we start at the top glow is a British cannabis um, company headquartered on the Isle of Man we believe in the power of cannabis is the initial top pinch there and then it, location social media website sectors etc the type of um, investment is equity so you're buying equity um, which is which is shares um, the pre-money valuation of the company is 24.5 million pounds um, what we all need to understand investing in something like this is very high risk um, most companies don't make it and fail uh, miserably however if you've got the right people working hard and you know dealing with challenging problems then it, it should be successful the equity offered for the five million pounds is 16.95 percent so just under 17 percent is on offer so whoever buys you know shares you'll be buying as or well if let's say if you bought the whole five million quid with one investor you would own 16.95 percent of the shares obviously at the moment there's 602 investors all of those would be differing figures and they will be offered a partial equity out of that 16 point nine five percent so that's how that works um in terms of buying when you do buy um i don't want to get too sort of too into it i, I mean i just talk roughly so if you buy shares up to twenty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine pounds then you'll be a you can have a cedars nominee so Cedars is the company that look after your shares for you, and um, you know they 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 are represent are representatives um, in shareholding by managed by the Cedars nominee. Anything over that, so as soon as you hit thirty thousand um, pounds, you would be in direct. Uh, you'd yeah direct investment within the company so that w you would bypass the seed as nominee and this option is only available for those investing over the threshold amount which is determined by the fundraising company and glow have put that at thirty thousand pounds so that's how that works <laughs> excuse the dogs <laughs> typical my son has just got home and the dog's gone bonkers right so anyway m moving on so that's just an idea um of of a breakdown of how w what we're buying so the the equity is 16.95 percent on offer four five million pounds um just business highlights very quickly straightforward first community owned cannabis cultivation company in britain exclusive partnership with cancard um, 75,000 plus cannabis patients, proprietary technology IP, 
the glow chain for all track and trace and there's a documentary being filmed by production company worker b tv so they're doing a documentary as it goes along now i've got no doubt um this will be successful um it just may cost more and take a long time before i think these guys get to where they will be comfortable there'll be lots of challenges um with any new startup no matter what sector you're in it's always going to be challenging um alex frey is the ceo um his current ownership in the company is 25.81%. Uh, and like I say, he's the CEO, Chief Executive Officer. Uh, the Chief Creative Officer is a chap called Charlie Lyons. He owns 24.67% of the company. Uh, then you've got Carly uh, Barton from Kankard. She is the Chief Community Officer uh, with a stake of 3.21% in the company. Uh, the lastly on here, Charlie Price, Chief Scientific Officer. Current ownership, 26.74%, meaning he is the... Um, he holds overall uh, the others, the majority share um, out of them all. So that's the team. There's been several updates. Uh, the last update that I saw. Glow team host a, po a public consultation on the Isle of Man. When was that? The 5th of July. That's quite some time ago. And that was by Alex. So again, I'll put a link in the um, description and I'll pin it in the comments so it'll be on there. And you guys can read all of this. Um, his latest one... Oh, sorry, there was today. I yeah, beg your pardon. Um, Hi, everyone. Another milestone passed and we are delighted to announce we now have over 600 investors in the GLOW campaign. Thank you to each and every one of you. For your support, it means a lot. Early this week, a leading cannabis journalist, Ruby Devoy, wrote a brilliant article about us on the highly influential Seedsman website. Um, so again, you know, that will be on the link, guys. I'll post that down. Uh, I did reach out to um, Charlie Lyons just for try and have a general conversation sadly I couldn't get hold of him um, didn't get no reply uh, albeit he does say he's full time so yeah sadly I didn't get any any anything back from that um, investors currently 602 there's a discussion section on here which is uh, almost like a frequently asked questions sort of in other words if you're thinking of investing or are investing you can um go on here and see what people have asked i mean there's one here so what is the big breakthrough the latest comment on the 5th of july and uh alex has replied to him or her i'm not going to read them all out they'll be there for you guys to see and uh, that's under discussion and then documents, available documents, is the Grow Lab Organics Pitch Deck Request Access. So you have to uh, pop your finger on that and request it. They have currently got 12 days left to raise um, 800 odd thousand pounds. Uh, yeah, 800 and something odd. But anyway, that's irrelevant. Um, you're not going to be able to invest a hundred quid and you're not going to be minted this time next year it's going to be a very very small amount of money and dependent on obviously how um 
how their business operates uh, depends, you know, on, on what, what will come next. There may be other um, equity offered which that which could be, you know, shared amongst the current shareholders for more, ra- you know, fundraising at a later uh, point before you are able to invest in, in Glow you do have to use the Cedars website and you go through a questionnaire of sorts um, to make sure that you understand the risks. It's not a trick question. It's not trying to catch you out. It's just ensuring you know that you're likely not going to see your money back. But from my opinion... um, Medical cannabis is growing and becoming, I mean, even in the two years that I've been using it, has gone from strength to strength. And it would be fantastic to have um, a UK company growing medicine uh, on behalf of um, ownership. So people that have, you know, own a stakehold within the business and have a potential say in the business um, in terms of flour products, oils, edibles, apparently they'd be looking into. So there's quite a lot on here. And I'll put, again, I'll pop that in the um, description. So, put, you know, pop on, have a look in the description for, for the web. I'll put the website and I'll put the Cedars website. If you're going to look at the Cedars website, you're going to have to sign up. So be prepared to give them your information, which which I've done. Um, have I shared, sorry, <laughs> have I invested? Yes, I have. Um, just a hundred pounds, it's all I can afford. And it's to be part of um, hopefully something interesting. And I believe medical cannabis is the future of medicine and eventually an, a replacement for opioids once the government and uh, NICE and all the other businesses we've all you know, wrapped around it, NHS England, etc., with all this red tape, realise that this medicine helps people and doesn't damage their bodies at the same time, unlike morphine, for example. So that's my take on it. I'm not going to talk about personal life stuff, but... Um, don't invest a penny if, one, you can't afford to. Two, you think you're going to get a return anytime soon. Um, and three, you know, if you're just not sure what you're doing, um, it can have tax implications and, and different other, you know, other different problems. But do invest if you are able to hold out for the long run, which, you know, will eventually... I've got no doubt that uh, Glow Lab Organics will be um, a fully-fledged building, growing cannabis um, in the near future. They have... They have mem- they've, they've got a Member of Parliament, I believe, over there involved. If I go back to the team, I think that was one of them. Uh it doesn't say I, I did read up on it before but but anyway they've got everything they need to just get going other than than the five million pounds target now some people might ask well if they've got a, a valuation of 24 and a half million pounds you know why do they need five million pounds more shouldn't they have money already well the answer is yes they do but they don't have enough hence why this is um what businesses do and uh, they try and raise funds uh, for a specific reason you know you, you, you can't just open a company um, and throw a pitch because you want to start selling socks and you know you, you need investors investors to um, build a manor build a, an, a, a warehouse and, and employ a ton of people to make socks a re- it's a really bad analogy but um, that's what this is for. So I'm a fan. I think it would do 
good things, but it will be doing good things in years to come. Um, so yeah, I guess it's watch this space. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you found the video the video useful. Um, have a look in the links, and you you guys make your own minds up. But definitely don't invest if you can't afford it. Um, I highly my you know my opinion is don't invest if you if you can't afford it don't invest if you think you're going to get quick money out of it because that's not the case um but i certainly wish the team um all the very best uh at making this work they, they need to work their socks off um i've been there done it got the t-shirt it's not easy and it's uh you know as long as everyone's really, really, you know, every day is a new day and a productive one, they should be okay. It is a shame I didn't hear back from Charlie. Lions would have been interesting to speak to him, but there we are. So that's um, that's Glow, which you've seen um, around Grow Lab Organics, and that's my um, take on it. All right, guys, that's enough waffling. Um, it's Friday. It's a lovely day. I hope everyone has a nice weekend and I wish you all the best. Take care.